I think to some extent we have to unpackage a package deal that people have there. You said a number of things that I think capitalism does stand for. For example, selfishness. I think capitalism is selfish. Um, it stands for making lots of money. Sure, it does. And what we need to convince people is that those things are good things, not bad things. That is, people pursuing their own self-interest, people living their lives to the best of their ability, making the most out of their lives is a good thing, and that's pretty selfish. Um, we need to convince people that rational self-interest is good, that they, each one of them, see to me, the battle about capitalism is all about the ethics ultimately, it's all about ethics. If we lose the battle on ethics, we lose the fight for capitalism, if we win it, we won, it's easy. If we can convince people that they have a right to live their life any way that they choose to, as long as they're not violating somebody else's right and that life is worth living, and it's worth making the best and most out of your life. The capitalism is easy, because all capitalism is, is a system that leaves you alone to do that. We can convince people that they are not their brother's key, that they're not morally responsible for the group, and their neighbor, and their community, and their race, and their ethnic group, or whatever the, the latest fad is. We can convince them that they're not morally responsible for them. They can take care of them if they want to. You know, they're free to help their friends. But they're not morally obligated as the essence of who they are to live for the sake of other people. Their moral obligation is to live for themselves. To make the most out of their life, to thrive. Then, you know, then you ask them, okay, well, if you want to live the best life that you can live, then the question is, what kind of political system? Well, you want a political system that allows you to do that, to pursue what you think is right. You know what, if you think communism is the best thing, if you want to live in a commune, capitalism allows you to do that. You can go off somewhere and start your own commune and live there. The whole notion is that force isn't being used. If you want to voluntarily go and live in some ridiculous setup, then that's your business. So the notion is that everybody, everybody is willing to think and is willing to work is better off, better off when Big Brother is not telling them what they should and shouldn't do. I, mean, I think that's the real core of it, because if you just talk economics, it's confusing and it's difficult and there's so many things going on, but you have to make it real to people that it's about their choices, it's about their lives, it's about you know, other people telling them what they should and shouldn't do. But nobody likes that. And that, that's the appeal. That's why, by the way, Iron Man is so appealing to teenagers, because that's the age where we certainly don't like being told that. What to do, right? And and we read, and suddenly this book legitimizes our wanting to, to live our own lives our own way, and and you know she gives you a whole a whole idea of what that means and how to do that, but it's it's appealing to that time in our lives where we're challenging.